Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Happy New Year. It's now 2024. No telling what we have in store for this year, but I wanted to start out by thanking everyone. What a December that it was. You know, I had lots of likes, lots of views on all my videos in December. A lot of new subscribers. I think over a thousand new subscribers in December alone. And then many of you have been using the links in the description. That helps me out tremendously. It helps me out to get a little bit of extra spending money for tool. I'm an Amazon affiliate, so anytime you go to an Amazon link and you buy anything on Amazon, I get a little bit of a kickback on that. And, you know, I don't have a lot of tools that I really need, so sometimes there's a tool that's out that I think would be good for me to show you guys on the channel. So you're going to see me buy tools sometimes. It's obvious I don't need them. But I'm at the point where now I'm buying tools because of you guys using the links. I've got some extra tool spending money. It allows me to buy some things to try out so that I can test them before you spend your money on it and make the decision for yourself. But I, I also don't normally in any of my videos say, hey, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, all those things. I figure if you want to, that's something you're going to do. But I would appreciate it. Maybe you've been watching for a while and it's just not a thing that you really think about hitting that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it if you get anything out of this channel uh, do that for me that'd be a big benefit because i think the more subscribers i get it's not necessarily that i care about the number but i think it's going to allow me to reach out to more people it's going to put me in that algorithm more and more companies are more likely to send me things to test out or get things maybe early so that you guys can see them first so that's my spiel before we get into this but let's go ahead and get into the tour review so today's tour review is going to be about a non-contact voltage tester. I've had many of these over the past, tried all sorts of different ones. I've mentioned before in videos that my favorite one is probably the Fluke 1ACA2. These are going to run you about $30, a little over $30 on Amazon. I like them because they beep. I also like them because of the way that the light works. It blinks all the time kind of to let you know that it's on. Uh, you can see here in a second it will kind of just throw blinks. And then... You know, you also get the solid color, and more than anything, I like it. I like the way that fits in my bag. It's been pretty uh, accurate for me. I've not had any issues with it. And then I've also liked the Milwaukee one in the past. This one's an old one. It's the 2202-20. I think this would run you like maybe 30 bucks on Amazon, but I don't think you can even get this one anymore. This one's pretty old. I bought this a long time ago. And then I've got several clients. They all work well. This one is the Klein NCV T. T3P. Um, I think I found that on there somewhere. Yeah, right there. And this one's also going to run you $30. This one's dual range, got a flashlight on it. The features of this one I love. The thing about the clients that I don't like is the size. They just don't fit in my pouch pockets very well. If you wear it in your shirt pocket, it might not be a big deal. So that started me again. I, I go through all that just to say I was on a mission. I was going to buy me another one of these, but then I just started, as I searched, I was scrolling through. I found an Ampro version of one that was very similar to this one. That was $37.99. I kind of liked some of the things that it said about it, and then I kept scrolling. I found this one. Now, this one shows up as Santronics, and the model number on it is 3115 on Amazon, but whenever I got mine, it says Test Equipment USA. Looks the same. I'm just saying the name didn't match up. As far as what's, and there's no name on the packaging, but as far as what you get, it looks the same in the picture. And this one's going to run you $23.39, and it looks the same as that Amprobe one. It's just red and not black. So I don't know if it's the same exact one, but it sure seems to be to me. It's also made in the USA, takes two AAA batteries. And the features that many people like about this one, the reviews are really great for it. One is it's always on. There's nothing you have to do to this. It's on all the time. Now that would make you think... Well, I bet the battery life stinks on it. Well, according to the reviews, it seems to be pretty good. I can't speak to that because I've just got it within the last few weeks. But they act like it takes months for you to go through the batteries on this. Uh, so that's one of the features on it. The other thing is that there's no sound. Uh, so that's a plus and a minus. just depends on who you are. I just mentioned how I like the sound on my Fluke. So I do like sound on mine because sometimes I stick it in somewhere and i let it beep while i'm going to find a breaker or whatever it might be but then there's also some of us where sometimes you go into a place to work and you kind of don't want all that sound going on because people are working or whatever it might be so sometimes there's a plus that there's sound and then sometimes it's a negative it just depends on what you do and then m most of the reviews they said they really liked about this was the fact that it's it's sensitive enough to pick up everything you want to but then it's not too sensitive that you can get into wires in a box and it's more accurate than all the rest of them. So that's kind of what I'm going to show you today. Again, it's just it's just a non-contact voltage tester. It's always on. Uh, now you can test it. 
by rubbing it on your shirt you can see those red lights showing up it picks up static electricity like that or the best thing they say is you know test it on a live circuit that you know is live before you go checking somewhere else so uh that's all the features on it there's not a lot on it always on two AAA batteries only has a light but it's pretty slim that's the main thing i liked about it was it's going to fit in and out of my pockets extremely easy. So let me go ahead and get into some of the testing, comparing it to these other three contact testers, and we'll just see what the difference might be. I'm starting by turning on all the non-contact voltage testers. Again, that's one of the advantages of that one, on all the time. Uh, these three I've got to turn on. Now this one is 50 to 1,000 volts uh, AC. Uh, most of mine, that's what they are. The Klein does dual voltage on that. And we're going to start out with this tamper-proof receptacle. Uh, so the Milwaukee, it goes in there, and I am getting, I can stick it in, and it, it kind of makes, and then it kind of doesn't, just depends on how far I stick it in there. So again, it's it's kind of hard, whereas I can go over here and get the beeping all the time. The tamper-proof, if you wiggle it around, you might can pick it up, you might not. This is a big thing, is everything nowadays, most of the places you go into, they're going to have these tamper-proof receptacles. A lot of the non-contact voltage testers don't work with them really well. Here's the Fluke 1ACA. That one works just fine. You can see I've got a solid color. And again, my beeping is not working on this at this moment, but it may work later. It always goes in and out on this one in particular. My MCT seems to work better. The one that's in my MCT. And then here's the Klein. It's got this little nub here. It goes in extremely easy. You can see I'm getting that red light saying that I've got voltage. So those all work well. Now let's go into the Santronics. That actually fits right in there. I pick up that solid light. So between all of them, to me, the Fluke, the Klein, and this one all work fairly well in the tamper-proof receptacle. The Milwaukee is the only one that's kind of a hit or miss. Just depends on how you hold it if you get it in there right. So, so that's that. Now let's look at this Romex sheathing. This side over here closest to me is going to be the hot. The side farthest away is going to be the neutral. If I take the Milwaukee, I'm getting it on this side. I go over to the other side, I'm not getting anything. So that's good to me. That's a good sensitivity on it that I'm able to pick up this wire. But if I go to the other side, I'm not getting anything. Fluke, same thing, solid color there. Not picking up anything on this side. Klein, red light, not picking up anything on this side. And then the Santronics, red light, not picking up anything that side. So it's a wash on that one to me. All of them are exactly the same. But here's where the claim gets into with this is that the sensitivity is better on this one compared to others. So I've got a white neutral wire and then I've got two hots here i've got them just coming off the side of that receptacle the blue wire and the black are hot and then the white is not so now this is a scenario where you're just sticking your non-contact voltage tester into a box you can see i'm picking up red here i'm also picking it up a little bit as i hit that white and then if i go over to the blue and stick it between I'm getting it on both of them, the blue, not the white right there. So this one, the sensitivity on this Milwaukee one's not bad. I'm getting a few spots here and there where I'm getting something on the white, but it's pretty much picking out blue and black. I'll go to the white, I'm getting nothing. Let's go with the fluke. Blue, white's good, black's good, it's hot, it's a blue black depends on how close what side of that wire i'm on see if i go to the side of the wire i'm picking it up there but if i go on the very top i'm out a little bit it seems to be okay the climb i'm gonna go blue it's hot black hot white hot everywhere so this one i'm not able to get into there and say which side's which everything's hot if i'm just in this general direction i'm picking up voltage this one's too sensitive that it's picking up voltage a little bit farther away so again if you're sticking this one into a box this is a good example of you know maybe sometimes this is why i don't like certain ones is because 
I don't maybe have the option to sit there and pull wires apart, you know, even though I could probably push this one away and maybe go in here yeah, and see now it's still red, even at that far away, but it might even still be picking up the blue. So Klein doesn't do a real good job. Let's go ahead and get them back together. Now let's go with the Santronics. So I'm going to go blue, white, even on the side of the white, next to the blue, black, side of the white, next to the black. I can go all the way down this whole inside. As I get down here where it gets really close, I'm starting to pick it up. Like it's close enough that it's picking it up there, probably will on the blue side too. But you can see this one's definitely doing the best out of all of them. Like unless I actually get over a little bit towards that blue or black, this one's staying to where it's showing no voltage on that neutral wire. So that's by far to me the best one of the bunch. The Milwaukee didn't do bad. Fluke didn't do bad. Klein is definitely the most sensitive out of the bunch, but this one seemed to do the best. So yeah, guys, that's the Santatronics 3115 AC. I think it's a pretty good detector. The only bad review I saw on any of it was that they break if you drop them, you know, from not very far up. But again, that's been really my experience for most of them. So uh, it's $23 in comparison to most of the other ones are in that $30 range. A little bit cheaper price. The big downside is it doesn't have sound. But again, that could be a, a good feature for some of you out there. But I actually like it. I think it's going to fit good in my pocket or inside of my pouch pockets a lot better than maybe some of the other ones. Because even though this fluke fits down in there it's it's still pretty tight and whenever i pull it in and out it's sometimes a tight fit so uh, let me know in the comments what you think about it maybe you've got this one or maybe you've got the ampro version which again looks very similar to me except it's just black but it's also you know 37 dollars instead of 23 dollars but let me know what your favorite non-contact voltage tester is and then also let us know why let us know why it's your favorite not just because it's a name brand of a certain kind but what does it do that's maybe different than others that makes it better for you. So hope this was useful. Uh, again, let me know what you think about this one in the comments below, but you guys stay safe. Have a blessed day and I'll see you on the next video.